Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews and what I have today is a Bluetooth beanie for the winter time and this is wireless Bluetooth 4.0. It is a uh, knitted hat as you can see here. It's the magic hat. It has Bluetooth 4.0 plus EDR which uh, does improve your listening quality. It gives you more like a CD experience. And I highly do recommend that if you're going to get something Bluetooth, you make sure that they have a codec in there that's like EDR or AptX or something like that because it really does boost the sound and it creates that CD quality sound that just a standard standalone Bluetooth will not have. This is the box. This is what you get, a brief explanation of what's inside, a description and stuff. But I'll go over all of that now. You do get the RTSU Toma Direct uh, to the store here, a little QR code that you can scan, and it also has just the address here on the back is in the box. You do get a little manual, a little paper manual here that shows how to remove the headphones out of the beanie and put them back in and stuff like that. You do get a cable tie from RTSU. You get a charging cable here. You do get a 3.5 cable here. So let's explain a little bit about this beanie. Um, on the inside back, there's a slit, and then here's where your 3.5 jack will go, and here's where you'll charge the things, and you'll get about six hours out of this. Uh, I did find that, depending on volume, I think I got like five hours out of listening to it straight. Um, but the cord does go in here to each side, which has a knitted uh, little sewn pocket here, and you can slide these out and, and feed them back out of here through this side here and wash this if you had to and I do truly think that this is a good warm thick feels good it's not itchy beanie and I do like the beanie but the most important thing is we're here to talk about is the Bluetooth headset we'll call it uh, is if it does it perform so let's turn it on I've already charged it but you could hear a little thing that said you know take power on or whatever mm -hmm. And it just automatically connected to my phone. I heard it vibrate. But this will flash red while charging and go away whenever it's done charging. Uh, volume up, volume down. You can skip through songs, play and pause here with the power uh, button. And you can kind of, you'll, you know, this will be non-existent when you have it on. You'll just feel for the three buttons, and they're pretty prominent. I mean, you could they poke out a pretty good bit, so you can feel those. The one in the middle is bigger than the other two, so there's no issues with that at all. The one issue I had kind of off the bat was this huge patch. Like, I would soon rather have it like that, and you could feel the buttons, and then it, the color of the light will shine through right here, but this to me uh, is not very attractive. So now let's talk about comfort, how it fits, can you really get these in here good on your ear? Now these will tuck away inside, so if you don't need them out, uh, you can just kind of tuck them out of the way to where they're not sticking out the back of your head. For me, I have you can move these around to position them right over your ear ear holes. But all right, so now I've got it pretty well, you know, right up on the ear where sound would be at, at its best. But you see, I'm left with like no vision once I finally get them down, you know, here. So I have to fold this up which does sort of stay, but if you're doing something or whatever, it'll gradually just come down and flip over in your face, which is very annoying. And, uh, you know, this is about as good as it's going to get as far as, for me now, I don't know if my ears sit freaky low or, or what, but you can see it's all the way down back here in my, in my neck area coming up covering my ears like a beanie is supposed to if it's cold outside. Now I've got the speakers right over my ears. It comes up and it would come like right across my eyes. But folding this up, and I guess it would, you know, if you're brushing stuff or whatever up against stuff, see how it just gradually comes down. I think you might have that flip down on you a few times a day. Or, or maybe not. Maybe you could put like a pin or, or, or stitch this if you decided. It. Like if this looks good right now, you can put a stitch across this and fix it if this is something that you want. But I know in the picture it shows like a, a, a good bit of room up here. But I had to bring it down to get it to my ear, you know. So the, the floppy air spot that you see in the pic from it that sticks up about this high is no more because I've got the thing pulled down just about as far down as it would go to get to my ears. Now let's move on to the sound of it. 
Uh, the sound is good. Like when it's on and playing, I think it sounds good and solid. With that EDR, I really do hear that CD-like quality. That's fine. Whenever I've got a, a song paused or uh, if, I, if I don't have my player up yet or whatever and it's just kind of dead silence in there but, but it's turned on, you get a lot of the high pitch, like a, a squeal or something like and it'll come and go like that and it just doesn't go away. I thought, you know, maybe it was just involved, maybe it was my phone or something so I tried something else and it's just or I, or I disconnected it completely from my phone. You can just hear it. It's just a stagnant noise that these produce. It's a little high-pitched grind, high-low, high-low high thing. It's extremely annoying. Uh, but the sound does sound good, but that's constantly going on. So if you turn it down really low, you can, hear the music, you can still hear a little grinding and whining. That's always there as long as these things are turned on. So now I'm going to play something so you can hear a little bit of leakage. If you can hear it, I'll play it at a comfortable, I won't play it really loud, it'll just be at a comfortable volume for me. And if you hear any leakage, uh, just know that it's from these things. Alright, so this is just a basic listening volume for me. If you hear anything, it's from these. Now they are sealed off pretty good and fine in my ears right now. And another thing to note too is it its name on here is Platinum. Uh, it shows up Platinum in in the uh, Bluetooth scan there whenever you're trying to connect to it. So it says Platinum. So here I've taken it out of pairing mode and you can see it's still flashing wanting to pair. So I'll go ahead and push that. Turn that off. It'll tell you inside if it's power off. I'll go ahead and pull these out so we can just take a look. So I went ahead and pulled this out. This is the one that has the uh, power on, volume up and down controls on it. And you can see that they are actually the same size. I thought the middle one was a little bigger, but they're actually the same. I guess it was the way that uh, this kind of felt uh, for it and kind of made it seem like the middle one was bigger. But uh, you can see that the 3.5 and the charge port all connect to this speaker. And this is your left speaker. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to, to just tuck back in there. You run it right back through that hole, fit it over into its little pocket. So this has been the Magic Hat Beanie. Um, it's kind of hard for me to endorse this product for sure because of the issues that I pointed out. And I think there's better options out there than this, especially at its price point. Uh, but this has been Isaiah's Reviews and thanks for watching.